Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Death Cube. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. What's up, guys? First things first, I want you to stop what you're doing. Type into the comments right now, happy birthday, Death Cube. That's right. It's been 12 months, one year. Let's go. It's full of life. Spike is loving his throne. He rules the waters of the cube. Him alone. Well, there's some snails, but yeah. Let's dive into it, shall we? So if you recently saw our uh, 10 months update, I mean, even going back, you know, two months or so, like this cube has changed a lot and things have grown even more. This cube really does surprise me because I use very minimal filtration. I don't really, it's not high tech at all at all. At all at all. All I do is steadily dose alkalinity daily. I do it by hand. I should, I know I need to get a doser. I still haven't gotten that but I do about six milliliters a day and it keeps the reef really happy. I've been trying to keep the alkalinity about uh, 7.5 to eight. Uh, for the longest time, I was struggling to keep it even above 6.5 and things aren't really happy. But after doing the uh, manual dosing and staying on top of that, like things are just taking off. Like the, the red planet is taking over the a frag rack here and just branching off of it. I got several other 
uh, SPS Coral's doing the same thing uh, is pretty awesome. There is some war going on between uh, a few of these right here. The red planet does not like the ones around it, so I'm thinking about slapping slapping this bad boy down uh, on one of these skull heads or something. Uh, the rainbow chalice that I stuck on this middle head here. Uh, it doesn't look very good. I think it just died on me out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, so I mean that was a shame. It was pretty good. I think it was called a jelly bean chalice or something. That would have been cool. But you know, it is what it is. Some corals make it, some don't. Like this red one back here doesn't look very happy at all. So I may move that or I might give it to another reefer locally. Um, yeah, there's still some uglies in the tank. Uh, that's pretty much what I showed you on the 10, 10 month update. Um, out of nowhere, the this turf or bryopsis algae has kind of gotten out of hand and you can, it's kind of neat though. It's kind of funny, the skull is growing on its chin so it's kind of like a beard. So it's getting the algae beard. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, the shrooms are doing good. The red disco back there, just popping out babies all the time. There's one in the middle. Egg hands are growing, getting, they're nice and fluffy, nice and, nice and puffy. There's that red one again. That one's just growing like crazy. The Zoas, I don't know where it started taking off as well. Got the Sunny D's and, you know, all the other videos, I'm like, I know, I know, I promise you, we're gonna glue down the, the Zoas on the rock. But you know, instead of gl gluing them down, like manually, I'm letting them do it naturally. So I'm letting them grow onto the rocks and get stuck on the rocks that way instead of just gluing them down. Because these Vrasas were on a frag plug and everything. I think you can see it in the last video. But now it's overgrown. It's overgrown the frag plug, which is cool. We got a circus bounce mushroom right there. Let's see if I can focus on that, maybe. It's getting all nice and bubbly. Frog spawn is growing like crazy. It's my sedium coral. It's growing like crazy. It's getting nice and puffy as well. Uh, it's really nice coral. I like them puffy, meaty corals. Chalices are getting nice lips on them. Candy cane is just growing like crazy. Look at this. I think it's a Miami or something chalice. Getting some pretty nice lippage going on right there. So cool. Yep, still rocking the Jabo SLW 10 right in the same spot as when I set it up a year ago. I did clean it once. I did clean it once. And Coraline is taking over again. <laughs> this Monty Cap is growing like crazy. So most of these SPS came from, you know, the old uh, 40 breeder system uh, that I took down that got taken over by the OVA. But now I'm temporarily holding them here and they're actually doing really good in this cube. Really awesome. But what I, I'm thinking about maybe placing some in here. I need to make room though, obviously. I have to move some things around. But mostly gonna put most of them into the cade over here. I don't know if we, uh, in the last video we did this or not, but the Dragon Soul torch is on this head now. And I gave away the other torch that was on that head because it was the same as this one, green highlighter torch. So I gave that away to a, a local reefer because I'm nice like that. <laughs> Chalice is doing nice, man. I love my chalices. The hammer that, I, that was in the Evo wasn't doing crap. It's thriving up in here. This is like an orange or gold hammer, but it's, I think it might be pooping today. Because most days it's nice and fluffy and puffy. It might be pooping. Shrooms, baby. Yeah. So, whatever these are, the pallies. These out of nowhere just started growing like crazy. 
spreading out more. They used to be back here in the middle. You can see the original frag plug right there. And they were grown all over the uh, sand bed and onto the rock, but now they separated themselves from the sand bed and the frag plug and all that. Now they're just on the rock. I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of cool to see how nature can just take over like that. Yeah, got some more turf algae. So my thing about this, you know, and there's bubble algae still in here. You can see that, that turf. But like, my philosophy is as long as it's under control and it's not going crazy, like taking over the tank or anything, and not an eyesore, I feel like it's natural to have some algae in your reef tank. Cause like a lot of people, they're like, oh, any side of algae is bad, but no. But like, it could be good. It could be a sign of, you know, a healthy reef tank. Just as, as long as you keep your nutrients and control and everything, then it's all right. Spike loves it in here. He's usually doing his own thing, but when we're next to the tank, he, he thinks he's gonna get food. But I think we should, I think we should feed him a little bit. You wanna feed him? Yeah, he just opened his mouth. He's like, yeah, feed me. Feed me. All right, let's do it. All right, let's feed Spike a few of these uh, silver side pieces and see how he reacts. Oh, you like that, don't you, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh. You gonna be picky today, boy? He's so picky sometimes. Such a child. Come on, bud. You ate a piece. No more. <laughs> he spit it out like three times and then he ate it. He's like a toddler. <laughs> one more. Let's do this one. Oh, he spit it out. Did you see that? You spit it out. <laughs> you rat. You little rat. Dang, man. All right. Well, I guess you uh, are not going to eat today. That's fine. He did eat a piece. And he's not starved, I promise. Next thing I want to go over is uh, our filtration. Uh, has anything changed? In our filtration since the last video, or since setting this cube up, um, yes, it did. We, I don't know, I think the last update I went over filtration, or at least the six months mark. Uh, I'm still running that same fil filtration, which is filter floss pad up top on the stock uh, rack, and then at the very bottom, we still have those bio balls that we started with 12 months ago. And then in a media reactor, I'm running Aquachar and uh, DD Robofoss uh, for phosphate control. And that's, that's it. That's all I'm running in this cube. And then I'm doing weekly water changes. Um, I was using Brightwell Neo Neomarine Salt and then I went to, uh, I wanted to try Tropic Marin again, see if that, um, I don't know, see how it would go in the cube. But since it mixes at the lower alkalinity, I was really having to really keep up with the dosing, especially struggling with that 6.5 uh, DKH for alkalinity. So I went right back to, I know, I know some of you are going to be like, 
Oh my god, but you said Reef, Cr Reef Crystals sucked, and I just spoiled it. Yes, I went back to Instant Ocean Reef Crystals on this cube. And it's actually thriving really well. Really nice, because... So, thing with salt, you want to match it to what, you know, your consumption is in your tank, your parameters, if it's overstocked, understocked, whatever, what have you. So Reef Crystals is a really good salt if your tank is fully stocked or has a lot of growing corals in it like I do, then it can thrive with that higher alkalinity, the higher DKH, you know, the higher elements, calcium, magnesium, all that stuff. Uh, because I'll do a water change on Sunday, roughly Saturday, Sunday, and the water will read 10 DKH. And when I, I do five gallons every week, and that brings alkalinity to about, I want to say it brings about in the middle, like 8, 8.5. And then three days later, the tank's right back down to 7, 7.5, and I'm back to dosing. Well, which is really nice because I don't have to dose every single day or the day of the water change and dose all week long. I can just do it for uh, four, four days and then do the water change again. And boom, I've been having really big growth since doing that method and going to uh, reef crystals but uh recently uh, i went to go buy some more on amazon and it's kind of really hard to get a hold of and out of nowhere it was like 30 dollars for a bucket and then it went up to 35 and then 39 and right now it's like 43 to get it shipped to me i don't know why it keeps changing like that but it's the same same vendor or whatever unless you know shipping charges uh change throughout the year which is, you know, which is possible, especially right now, you know, with the holidays and everything. It's around that holiday time. Uh, but I went with, uh, I just recently bought 150 gallon worth of Instant Ocean Regular, so the purple. And I'm going to start using that. And it was like $34. Why not? You know? I don't know. This reef is uh, kind of proof that you don't need those big expensive salts because I was tired of having to pay like shipping so it was like for like a bucket of Tropic Marin it was close to like $200 to get it shipped to me no thank you <laughs> so if this reef can thrive on $34 salt that's what I'm going to use I also picked up uh, DSR uh, I want to say DSR Aquatics or something like DSR USA DSR Aquatics uh, pretty much is a dosing uh, regimen so that you don't have to do water changes anymore, but I still have yet to pick up a uh, Doser so I just have this stuff and I want to try try it on this cube and get away from water changes on this cube and just try dosing and see what happens Let me try and look for food you spit it out you held it in your mouth and wait for another piece to get into the tank To spit it out and try to get the other piece. No, thank you. You're like a little toddler still cute though let me show you the back huh so I'm still using this to cool down because you know with the uh, the hood on and everything Tim still rise oh which this cube still running on the stock hood the stock light uh, just keep the uh, schedule the same and stability is key you know alkal I just dose alkalinity keep this light on the same schedule every single day and things are thriving Let's see if you can see up in there oh, I'm blinded there's our uh, filter pad and then I just run this media reactor with the aqua char and the row of us and that's it there's a heater in there but I don't even have it plugged in because this system stays pretty uh, pretty warm or within temp Yeah, man. It's SPS's and stuff are growing. They're taking over the racks. It's crazy. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Get you some some top down action here. Oh shoot! But you got the lights in the way.
Also, a couple other things that I dose uh, every water change is uh, these Willow Willow's Reef uh, Amino Feast. It's a premium, premium amino blend. Um, I'm getting some pretty good uh, response from my corals. Uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You guys should check some of this stuff out as well. I'm not telling you you have to buy it, but at least, you know, look into it. You know, maybe try it. Who knows? But I've seen some really good response uh, after using this uh, amino blend and everything. So, I mean, you've seen it. you see my corals. And then another thing that I use, I dose a little bit of this Iodion. Yeah, I can't say that. Iodion. It's an iodide supplement from Brightwell. I just do like uh, uh, 0.24 milliliters or something like that. Yeah, very small amount. I'm sure the salt has some in there, but I do a very small amount extra. And I think it helps. I've seen some pretty good stuff because uh, at, when I wasn't using this, those pallies were looking like mushrooms. It was like the mushroom syndrome. And after dosing a little bit extra every water change, they stopped and they look like actual pallies and zoas now. So yeah, keep that in mind. Shadow puppets. Oh, it's recording. All right guys, well thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And if you really liked it, I would appreciate each and every single one of you watching this to hit that subscribe button. And a message to all my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I would not be making this video right now if it wasn't for you. Thank you for giving me the motivation and thank you guys for actually watching me. And yeah, so, okay, I lost my words. Uh, get choked up here. Um, but honestly, I just wanna say thank you Thank you guys so much. I, like I said, I would not still be making these videos even though I know that I'm not that great at it. But I'm out here trying to teach you guys some things if I can. Bring some things to light, I guess. And, you know, just documenting my reefing journey and my tanks that I'm making. I, I love it. I love this hobby. It's really great. It, it brings all of us together. I like that when there's an issue and the reefing community and someone reaches out yeah you're gonna have those trolls you're gonna have those people that you know are gonna be you know old heads so to speak and not want to help whereas i want to bring like i'm trying to just like hey this is what's going on i want to help you um and if i don't know the answer i'll reach out to someone else or get, get you in contact with someone else i don't know i think i'm just rambling on now Thanks again, guys. Sawfish TV, ow. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, what's up, guys? Ziggy Ziggy Ah. Guys. You know. The Ziggies. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la.